all you beautiful souls it's tan back here with another astrology video for you so that was something that i put together to just kind of give you the vibes of the cancer midheaven because i think that the best way to really kind of understand someone's midheaven sign is to look at their work so if you have a cancer midheaven i call you a work of the heart so if you haven't watched my introduction video on the midheaven signs i'd really recommend that you watch that one first to just kind of get an idea about what the midheaven is and in order to find your midheaven sign you really do need the exact time of birth uh, much like when you were finding out your ascendant or rising sign so before we can go in and talk about the midheaven in cancer we need to examine your ic first your roots because as i mentioned in the introduction video without a deep awareness of your roots it's really kind of hard to figure out what it is that pushes you towards achieving your dreams so with a cancer midheaven you have capricorn on the ic so your immediate family life when you were growing up was very very capricornian your parents might have had a really good kind of public reputation or they were very successful in their career life and they kind of were influencing you and pushing you to do the same they had these expectations for you since you were like five they really disciplined you and made sure that you knew the importance of hard work since you were like five as a result of this you had a lot of responsibilities to fulfill since you were like a child all right so maybe one or maybe both of your parents um gave you a lot of responsibilities to fulfill and you kind of felt like uh, when do I get a chance to go out and play like all the other children do? So you never really had a chance to kind of develop your inner child. They kind of depended on you to do certain tasks, leading you to feeling like, mm, were my parents putting um, my, their love for me second and their kind of um, hard work to maintain the the foundation of the family and the stability of the family first and like their love for me was second you kind of questioned this a little bit it was kind of like they didn't really care for your personal well-being do you see what i mean hmm. you were kind of conditioned as a child to develop a very very responsible inner self one that knows the importance of having a big having big dreams and striving to achieve those goals so as a capricorn i see work hard work is actually what grounds you and what makes you um and what kind of anchors you capricorn i see is work like nobody's business planning how to achieve your life goals is what you do at home when no one's looking so if we think back to the midheaven tree yay this is the cancer midheaven tree where responsibility hard work and ambition is the root of the cancer midheaven tree as you build on these roots when you get older you know in your 20s or 30s or 40s depending on di each different cancer midheaven you kind of build upwards to the trunk of the tree you see the midheaven is what you aspire to be in the world based on what you think is most important in life so that you can make a full contribution and this is represented by the leaves and the branches of the cancer midheaven tree you as a cancer midheaven really see the importance of putting love above anything else so you go out there in the world because you didn't really have the kind of affection that you desire to have you needed to have as a child you now want to go out into the world and really give that affection and love to people and have them return the affection the love the adoration to you as well um you almost feel as if you are the one that has to take on the responsibility of bringing love and comfort out into the world 
The midheaven also indicates your personal capabilities. With a Cancer midheaven, you have the ability to really meet people and make them feel comfortable, make them feel familiar, and like a family. I actually know someone who has a Cancer midheaven, and you know, she can cook really well and she hosts Christmas parties um, with the perfect decoration, the perfect food, the perfect themes. She makes everyone feel really, really good on Christmas Day. And that is your Cancer Midheaven. You also have the ability to really channel your deepest, deepest feelings out into the creative work that you do. When people look at your work, whether it's, you know, a dish that you created, a painting that you've done or a home that you've designed, they see beyond that. They can really see your soul. They see your heart, your deepest, deepest feelings and emotions in the work that has come out. And that is beautiful. You don't really post a lot on like social media, Facebook or Instagram. This is probably true for all cancer. Mid uh, this is probably kind of true for all water midheavens. And the reason for the Cancer Midheaven not really doing this is because you are a little cautious about what you post and you don't like criticism. You don't like it when people make write mean comments or write just judgmental comments um, in reply to whatever it is that you post. So you select the post really carefully because you are so sensitive to the way that people view you and to the um, opinions of other people um, in the world. So. Yeah, unless you post something that's like about what you cooked or your family and friends, then you don't really, you know, post other things. You see, when you were young, this inner disciplinarian in you um, is now really beneficial for you to, you know, achieve in your career because you know the value of hard work. You can do the same things day in and day out. Keep working at it, you know. You have patience. You understand the importance of time, of waiting for your, your creations to manifest. And um, people look at you and see your very cancer-like kind of image and think that you are highly, highly intuitive and you just know how to navigate your way in the public sphere. Like you just know how to do it. How do you even know? But they don't know that deep down inside, it's because of all your hard work that's now paying off. So to really figure out what your true vocation is based on the midheaven sign, you'd really have to look to see where the moon, which house the moon is placed for the Cancer midheaven. Um, I know someone who has a Cancer midheaven with their moon in the fifth house, which is like the house of pure creativity, right? And Cancer is also like this very creative and artistic sign. Um, so she does her job is actually an architect or a designer. So she takes that, you know, creative fifth house energy and she brings it onto the midheaven and design homes for people. Um, but if you, if we are to try to figure out um, the vocation based on just the midheaven sign alone, I could probably not give you anything concrete, but I can tell you the working environment that would suit the Cancer midheaven. So with the Cancer midheaven, you do best in a working environment where there's not too much competition and there's not too much challenge. You can also really um, do well starting your own business, being self-employed or being kind of the manager in a company because Cancer is after all a cardinal sign, much like Aries, Libra and Capricorn. So it's very much a self-starter kind of energy. You need an environment where you can either one, help out people, help out old people or children or animals and just use that kind of kindness that you have. Um, or two, use your creativity or three, use both of them. And of course, above all else, you really love to be loved by those you work with and to um, be able to use your skills to care for others. When you feel lost about your life purpose or kind of not sure about the next steps to take to achieve your goals, and we all feel that way sometimes, the best thing to do is to revert back to your IC, to do the things of the IC in order to feel rejuvenated, recharged, and then plan your next steps. So with a Capricorn IC, what you need to do is to kind of be in touch with that earthy side again 
because Capricorn is, you know, an earth sign. So doing yoga, you know, physical exercise, and just kind of working with your body, getting in touch with your body again, is gonna give you the kind of rejuvenation that you need. And then after that, you can stay home, plan, go on the computer, type up your to-do list, tick them off, and then come out and start um, build a stronger trunk for that midheaven tree. So this is gonna sound quite morbid, but this is the ultimate representation of the midheaven. Um, it's kind of what you would like to be remembered for when you are gone. So on your deathbed, what is it that is going to make you feel the most fulfilled? So as a Cancer Midheaven, on your deathbed, you really need to feel like you've physically and emotionally have helped people feel more comfortable in the world and live a more comfortable lifestyle based on your ability to nurture them. You hope to do so as much as you can do to kind of reduce the sufferings of those who don't have food to eat, don't have a home to stay, or maybe they just don't know how to eat right, or just don't know what to do with their lifestyle, or they're just feeling completely sad, lost, um, and burdened. You hope to be able to ease all of their, you know, sufferings in that way. You have a loving heart and a kind soul, and you can really achieve your greatest dreams through all of the hard work that you're willing to put in with full force. And that's my take on the Cancer Midheaven. If you have a Cancer Midheaven, feel free to leave a comment below. I'd like to know what is your current aspirations, what is your life purpose, um, and like and subscribe to see more astrology content like this if you like it. I'll see you in the next Midheaven video. Bye.